Good evening, good afternoon and good morning to those viewers of mine who like to watch what Johnny V's are up to these days. This is just going to be a little brief video on a small acquiring vehicles that I've managed to get. And uh, PB from PB's Restorations asked if he could see these particular vehicles, um, as I'd mentioned them on his video. So with no further ado, I shall start bringing them out. They are dinkies, which is um, something I also like looking at and collecting, uh, not to the extreme of my Matchbox collection, but uh, vehicles that um, I find really interesting to have and uh, show prosperous um, ideas to restore. Uh, then they uh, become part of my collection. So without any more chit chat, uh, until I describe the cars, here they are. We'll start with this little fella first. It's a, let's get it the right way around, shall we? No, that wasn't the right way around. This is the right way around. It's a Dinky Toys Ford Anglia number 155 uh, Meccano Limited, England. It's obviously been overpainted at some time in a light blue to replicate the original blue. Um, certainly hasn't been unscrewed or changed in, in any ways. The tyres seem to be in pretty good condition. Um, the paintwork is, yeah, it's there. Uh, and it's obviously done with a brush, I would imagine, but She's a nice little car. Everything's in con good condition otherwise. The windows aren't cracked. The interior looks to be in good condition. And it was a, a nice little find at an antique shop that a friend of mine took me on a drive with last week. So uh, we managed to come across these and a few others. So that's, that's the little Ford Anglia. All right. The other reason I like to also watch uh, Dinky Restorations, and there's two channels in specifically that I like, it's um, Timo's Dinky Detailing. Uh, he does a beautiful job with the really old Dinkies, and uh, he puts his twist on them, some of the ones that he likes to change up. But other than that, I like his work. He's on YouTube, a good channel to watch and follow, and uh, check him out. And the other chap uh, a lot of you guys already know is Martin Dares from Dinky Restorations in the UK. He too has also prompted me to uh, have a crack at some of these old girls. So uh, yeah, down the track you probably see one or two more of these coming up on my channel. So once again, that's the little Ford Anglia. Going on to the next one. All right, here we have a Singer Gazelle. It's a fairly tidy car. It's not damaged greatly in any way, actually. It's obviously had touch-up paintwork done on it at some time in its life, but it's, again, it's all original. There's no drill-outs or anything else. It's Dinky Toys. It's Singer Gazelle, made in England, Meccano Limited, number six, 168. Uh, there is a bit of a, a whoop de doo in the chassis line there, but I think we can sort him out when the time comes too. So, another little beauty. And obviously, I did some research to see what colour it was, and these are the approximated colours to it. A grey top with a, a green bottom, so um, we shall see if we go back that route, or if there's a rarer colour I can paint it to. I'll just check all those things out when I get round to doing these guys but again too the tires on this are in good order and uh, yeah I think she should come up neat all right we shall move on to the next one and this particular one is uh, seen quite a lot the guys out there like to do this bloke up the old Rolls Royce dinky Rolls Royce Silver Wraith made in England Meccano Limited 150 is his number, and this is actually in really good condition. Um, the tyres, I think, are a little bit out of skilter on this bloke here. I think it or the other side was, yeah, it was flat, but it was only flat on the bottom, so that's not a problem. Um, but the paintwork, yeah, it's old and tired, but it's complete, and only the uh, 
the mascot on the grill is the only thing that I can see that's actually missing or wrong with it. So this might just get a sympathetic uh, tidy up and uh, keep it as original as possible. And maybe some new tyres to uh, make it roadworthy again. But yeah, another little beauty. And as you say, everybody that uh, has a play with Dinky, I think I've seen this car done quite a few times. Um, but it's a beauty. So there we go. That's another little ripper. And this one is uh, its a more modern Dinky. And it's very, very interesting car. It, uh, I'll give you a couple of seconds to try and guess what it is. If you can, put it in the comments. All right, that's long enough. Okay, here we are. It's a Opal Commodore. Not like the Commodore we have over here in Australia, but uh, still one of their uh, their German releases of the body lines of their Opals that they did over there. This is a, I think when I researched it, was a 71 or a 72 uh, Opal Commodore and made in England. It has opening features. Oops, sorry about that. It has opening features. So we've got opening door. Uh, I think the seats, yep, seats fold forward so you can get in the back seat. Uh, nice detail, solid sort of steering wheel happening there. Uh, the tyres and everything on this are in pretty good nick. The paint, I don't know, it's, it's, it looks very orange peely, so I don't know whether it's been redone. It's possible because this does have a screw in it, but I don't know if that's original to this one or not. But either way, um, this if this does get restored, um, I've got images of one that I really like, and that's what it'll probably become. Um, it's funny because it looks face on, it has a Cortina, early Cortina look. Looking down the bonnet and the roof and the windscreen, it looks a bit like a HT, uh, HG Holden Monaro. Even some of the uh, the styling here is very Monaro-esque. Yet from the back end, um, you can see Pontiac, you can see Camaro, sort of stylings there so it's a it's a real homogenation of uh, vehicles but it's a it's a neat little car so hopefully when I get around to this one I can decide whether to restore it to its fully original if this has already been played with or uh, just tidy it up again and keep it as I found it now too uh, obviously the chrome work needs to be retouched, it's uh, faded away quite a lot, but everything's functioning on it. It does have an opening hood, with a nice chrome, I think there are straight six when I was doing the research on it, and there are some with uh, small V8s in them as well. So uh, yeah, this is quite an interesting little car. So, and it was in my little group of buys, so I thought, well, I'll jump on that and grab it. Now I've got two others. The um, the seller actually just gave me these because he didn't know what to do with them. Um, but I can't find any markings on this one. It's a boat trailer, I take it. I don't know whether it's Dinky or Corgi. It's a weird... The, the wheels look Dinky-esque but I really can't tell so and there's absolutely no markings on it anywhere so if anybody does know um, yeah please chime in at the comments and let me know on that one uh, and then what was meant to be on it as well I can't I can't find anything online that I've looked for it already because um, there are a few different boat trailers out there Corgi did do one Dinky did do one Matchbox have done it in king size but this is none of those so yeah, if somebody could uh, let me know on this one, that'd be really cool. And then finally, there's this tiny little dude. It's obviously like a Dodgem car or a early race car of sorts. It is built like a dinky. It's got a, a plate that's actually uh, riveted into the bottom. 
Uh, it's got separate tyres to the rim. Uh, it is missing the front ones, of course. Uh, missing a driver and obviously a steering wheel. But I have never, ever seen this before. And I'm just curious if anybody else knows if it's part of a set or if it's a straight up release on its own or if it's part of uh, a trailer set from something else. Um, yeah, please also let me know. I'd love to know what this one is. All right, guys, there you go. It's uh, Johnny V talking at you. And um, just a few of the little gems that I picked up on the weekend. And uh, I'll let you have another bit of a squeeze at them. And uh, yeah, all goes well. And uh, I'll catch you on the next time. Thanks for looking. Please remember to like, subscribe and share. And uh, yeah, definitely please leave a comment if you have any information on any of these cars. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you around. Bye.